I do the tour really to connect with grassroots organizations around the country and see the work that they're doing, and try to uplift their message and try and educate myself and figure out you know, ways that I can be more involved. to be heavily involved in the South Florida community, but I also wanted to see what, what else was happening in the South in our country, and I felt like these issues were very prevalent in the South, and so that's why it was so important for me to get here and start doing this work. I think the most important experiences I've had have been visiting the museums and getting the history. Visually, it started to like, like really get me once you start going yeah. down and then they're like, hey, it's like hanging out. Like, yeah. We talked about just how that's kind of the, taking the first step is being able to acknowledge our history acknowledge the wrongdoings and the trauma that our country has experienced. In order to heal from trauma, we have to address it. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. When I saw her walking through the door, I had this moment of where, you know, when you're a little girl and you have a dream of the people you want to meet, and so to see her face, I can see my face and the face of my children. Getting to spend time in the presence of Dr. Davis, it's like once in a lifetime. You know, you rarely get to be in the presence of a living legend and the impact that she's had all over the world. We're given the opportunity to reflect on what it means to do work that has uh, an international um, resonance and not only change our communities and our cities and our states, but change the world. Angela Davis said something really important. Dr. Davis said, it's about looking at our foundation. When we not just discuss race, we know that it's because of this. This is how we get here. Right. So these little minds, how do we help them? How do we influence them, right? This is great. I wish I would have had some type of <laughs> some type of information. How like amazing this. is that? For them to know that they're brave. Representation is so important. You know, I think it's extremely important these two stops, Montgomery and Birmingham, because of the significance and importance of the negative and positive things that have happened here. And you feel a different type of importance in the activism, commitment in the activism to their community. The problem is we often focus on the very discreet, particular issue. And we ask, how do we solve that? And we don't think about the larger context. Give Dr. Davis a hand for sharing her afternoon with us today. The biggest part of this to me is the action. It's, it's getting out meeting face to face with people, learning about their organization, learning about their cause, and really connecting with them and then figuring out solutions or ways you know, that others can, can help and get involved. Really just figuring out how I can help the grassroots organizations network with right. some of the athletes that I know. Here's a space for you to get connected if Absolutely. you'd like to. Absolutely, well I think that's so important. I think one of the most important things for people to get from, from me in this journey is to understand that I wasn't always like this. We're all capable of, of change, changing the way we think, changing the way we listen, changing the way we communicate. I've learned that there's a lot more good people out there than bad. The trip has really uplifted my spirits and encouraged me. There's things that I'm still understanding and learning, and it'll always be that way. And so I encourage other people to feel like they can change. You know, we're all stronger together in this fight.